This is Arthur and Tyler coming to you skydiving, about to talk to you about some civic. Oh my gosh! Um, Perfect. technical difficulties. Oh dear. Roll the film. Today, let's talk about values. No, not those values. These values. The core democratic values which make America, America. Things that seem completely inconsequential, like life, which has to be protected by the government and can never be threatened. Then comes liberty, which is not to be confused with do whatever the heck you want. No, uh, it includes your personal freedoms, your political freedoms, your economic freedoms, and your thinking, your beliefs, your ideas, and your opinions, and to gather for those. Good example of personal freedom, doing what you want without government control, uh, like Tyler jumping off cliffs. No! Oh my god! And then, of course, comes in your political freedom and your economic freedom. Oh, my back. Oh, man. Tough day. Do not worry, I can help you. Oh, thank you, my boy. Of course, this is the good old common good. Working together for the better of all people. Order! Order! The defendant has been accused of griefing. Jury? Verdict? Innocent! Yes! Woohoo! He's dead. Justice Everyone served! Oh. If you couldn't tell, that was justice. Now moving on to the next thing, equality, where we're all going to do things equally. And when we're done, we'll have the biggest egos in the village. Let's go! Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Despite a very comical approach, equality shows that everyone has the same rights and that you can express those equally. Uh, yes, using the word equal in the same definition. And then there's good old diversity, because... You're all different! Deal with it! Then there's the good old truth. Live it, breathe it, love it. Not including people. The government, yes, is not supposed to lie to its people, uh, even though in some occasions this may happen. Next, popular sovereignty, because the people have the power to change the government usually by voting. Then of course the last of those values is patriotism, that part that shows your devotion and love to the country and it's just great, shown by words or actions. Separation of powers overlied by federalism is the way this, the government is laid out and how the executive, legislative, and judicial powers are spread out over many branches. This being the judiciary right here, uh, Tyler. Great guinea pig. That's good. Then here is the legislature where its people and the people below it all have to follow the laws, that being rule of laws. And representative government where we elect representatives and they create the laws above us in this legislative building. Final branch and show of constitutional principles is the executive branch where of course that president above us lives uh he has the same rights as we do no getting above that another example of a rule of law and of course finally there's checks and balances where all of these branches come together and they make sure that they're doing their job and not stepping out of their boundaries last but certainly not least is the influences of sir john locke and baron de montesquieu uh this is a somewhat extensive topics, so I'll try and condense it as much as possible. So Locke wrote the two slash second treatise of government, which basically laid out the popular sovereignty aspect of government, where the government is controlled by the people, and this influenced the Declaration of Independence tremendously, uh, showing out life, liberty, and property, also the legitimate government and avoiding tyranny. 
Montesquieu wrote The Spirit of Laws, which our final inclusion is the book that influenced James Madison's idea in the Constitution about the separation of powers between the three branches, judiciary, executive, and legislative, which could completely check and balance, yes, I'm going back there, the government and make everything equal. Before I sound too much like a person from Chinatown trying to sell you fake purses and watches, let me just say what I'm selling you, and that is active citizenship, because that is the thing in America which can make everything harmonic. It's absolutely phenomenal. Just go out there and do something great. Do something awesome. Reduce world suck and make it better.